Hi, I'm Jonathan Miller and this is Diamond Systems and I'm here to show you today our latest products that we're showing here at Embedded World 2020. This current product here is our latest uh, product for the NVIDIA Jetson uh, ecosystem. NVIDIA Jetson is a new generation of uh, high performance GPU, very low cost, very small size. Um, and perfect for embedded applications, for AI at the edge, and all things like that. Um, the the uh, Floyd board here is a carrier board for the um, uh, in, for the uh, Nano and the brand new NX module, Xavier NX module. So the Nano has 128 CUDA cores, and the Xavier NX has 384 cores. These are excellent app, uh, products for high performance, low cost uh, AI at the edge applications. Uh, this is a very interesting product because it has these uh, uh, front panel connectors which makes it very easy to put it inside of, a, of an enclosure like this system over here. This is the same Nano uh, uh, Floyd carrier board inside of a box that's ready for deployment. So it's high performance and it's great for AI, is, stuff uh, like that? High performance, low cost, small size, lightweight. It has uh, all kinds of camera interfaces. This is the ca product designed specifically for camera-centric applications. We have two PoE camera ports here. We have USB 3.0 that can be used for camera. Uh, and we also have three MIPI CSI quad lane uh, camera interfaces for integrated cameras inside an in enclosure. So you have all kinds of different uh, That's a lot of cameras. That's a lot. It's like a self-driving car. Is that many cameras? Uh, yes, uh, it would have typically six cameras. This can handle one of those six camera, 360-degree um, uh, sensors. And what are the other applications? Who's going to take one of these and where, to get, where are they going to put this? Uh, you know, these will be used do? in applications where, where people have high compute uh, requirements. Uh, specifically, it will be for things like camera interfaces, primarily. I think the number one application for NVIDIA Jetson is really in anything that's image-based. Uh, there's also some machine learning and, and things like autonomous vehicle navigation and things like that. But typically, you will see it where they have to do a lot of real-time parallel processing, which means basically image processing, image recognition, things like that. What's the format of this? This is a custom format created by NVIDIA, but it's very similar to an SODIM memory module. It's about uh, 50 by 70 millimeters approximately. I don't remember the exact number. But the nice thing about this product is that they now have two products with two different levels of performance that have the exact same form factor. So this product is scalable. So you can start out with a lower end nano and you can upgrade to the higher performance Xavier NX if you need app higher application performance. So you get performance scalability. That's a really nice feature to have in an embedded product. So is this the, the most advanced, the most powerful you've done so far? Their most powerful product is another one. Uh, we have two other products for the higher end Xavier module. So if you'd like, I can show you the other uh, Xavier carry ports. Yeah. Okay, why don't we come over to here. And, and this is the remainder of our NVIDIA product line. So uh, NVIDIA has also a TX2 module and a Xavier module. This product here is called Elton, as in Elton John. This product is our top of the line, uh, rugged, high performance NVIDIA Jetson carrier board. So this is a larger board. Uh, this is the uh, Xavier module here. This is the 3D print of the Xavier module to show you what it's like. And, um, and then we have a heat spreader here to pull the heat out. This can, can provide up to 30 tera ops, 30 times 10 to the 12 operations per second, uh, in, which is pretty impressive performance compared to anything in the x86 world. This has also a very unique feature, which is PCIe 104 expandability. This gives you PCIe by 1 and by 8, as well as PCI bus expansion. So if you need additional I.O., there's a huge universe of uh, embedded PC-104 I.O. modules from all kinds of companies all around the world that you can plug onto here to get additional functionality. You can get 10 gig Ethernet, you can get additional graphics, things like that. So what so, kind of markets are asking for these? Uh, again, it's everything that is, uh, this could be used for autonomous vehicles because of the higher performance. This could be used for any kind of data manipulation, data processing, image capture, uh, facial recognition, things like that. Are there it's, autonomous devices in farming? Stuff like this? Absolutely. In fact, at the last trade show we went to, uh, right across from our booth was a, a demonstration by a company using product like this for strawberry picking. So what happens is it has six, uh, six sides at the same time, so three rows on both sides of the row. It is, uh, it is searching for a strawberry, identifying the strawberry, checking if it's ripe, and then picking it. And all that's being controlled by an AI engine controlled by Xavier modules. Are you in robots or in drones? We are in a lot of drone applications. We're also in a lot of submarine applications. Uh, we have some customers using our, our uh, products for uh, robot arms to, to, for example, prevent collision of multiple arms working simultaneously. Another application. For so yes, we have all kinds and of And there's a lot of other new boards. This other new that you, is this sure, come around. Let me launch? Let me show you one? a brand new um, a concept here. The same concept here. This is also a, a comm carrier. Well, in this case, this is comm express. So uh, now we're back to the x86 world. This is our newest product called Gemini. 
Gemini. Gemini is a really super product, and I'll tell you why. Because it combines the, the incredibly successful Com Express with the incredibly successful PC-104 for I.O. expansion. So you get amazing benefits. What you get is uh, performance scalability, because you can buy all different kinds of comms from different vendors to put on here. You get a long life cycle, because if a comm goes obsolete, you can buy another one to replace it. So you design a product around Gemini, the product will last forever, because it will never go obsolete. And you get to choose the performance and price and power consumption that you want for your product. So on what kind of boards side. go in there? Well, uh, like we have Whiskey Lake, which is our basic one, the 8th generation Core i7. You can put Bay Trail, Apollo Lake, you can put Ryzen from AMD, almost anything. There's, there's probably 25 companies here selling Comp Express modules that you can see. They'll all work on this board. On the top side, we have PCIe 104 again, just like you saw on the Elton board. Here we have, uh, again, we have PCIe by 1 and by 16, and PCIe 104 expandability, as well as Minicard and M.2. So you have this huge range of I.O. expansion that you combine with the Com Express, so it's super flexible. Because uh, do you have customers using devices, your devices for a very long time? So you want to be future-proof? We have future so many customers allowed that, that have long-life programs. The number one concern that we have for customers in this market today is, is longevity of the product that we're buying a single board computer. Everybody we walk, talk to, we walk in there and they say, we have a problem. Our, our single board computer vendor made our product obsolete, we're looking for a replacement. This conversation happens over and over again. It's the number one concern of people in the embedded market today. So anything you can do to provide longevity in your product line is a win for you and for the customer. How That's old why. are your oldest devices? Uh, our oldest current product is from uh, 1998. And it's, and it's still, still out there? Today. Absolutely. But we have customers uh, using that designs in our computer boards from the early 2000s that are now looking for, for uh, solutions. So I'll show you our next product that's designed for that. So this here is called Athena 4. Why is it 4? Because there was Athena 1, 2, and 3. And actually, let me show you Athena 1, 2, and 3. They're right here. So here we have, this is the original Athena 1 board right here. It was developed in 2000, uh, 2004 using a Via Eden processor. Here is the next generation. When this chip went obsolete, we switched to the Via Mark and provided increased performance, a few additional I.O. features, but notice that the, the, the layout is almost exactly the same. Same features, uh, same price, everything's the same, but upgraded performance. Then when this chip went obsolete, we went to an Intel uh, Tunnel Creek CPU here. This is Athena 3. Again, same connectors, same features, everything's the same, a little bit of upgraded performance, things like that, more memory. Um, uh, but what we did was we allowed our customers to migrate uh, to newer technology and keep their products alive. Finally, the Tunnel Creek process went obsolete, so we said enough is enough, let's switch to a Com Express module. So now we use Com Express Type 10, and again, we have the same form factor, the same features, everything's the same, same price, same power consumption, but we have dramatic increase in performance, and we have uh, basically much longer life cycle. So as you say, the Com Express is a whole bunch of different solutions. Yes, this is a Bay Trail module, but you can uh, later on this year, we will have a, a Whiskey Lake Core i7 8th generation module on top of here too. We have Core i7, uh, in PC-104. Who can offer that? This is uh, all x86 solution here. This is all x86 based, yes. And the, you've the done a lot of x86 stuff 86. for a long time. Yes, since uh, the beginning of the company. It's all been x86 based. Right, until we branched out to a little bit of ARM computing and now into the Jetson. All right. And so what other things are you talking about here, the embedded world? Well, uh, we also are selling embedded systems based around PC-104 and Jetson. So we have several different enclosure systems. This is called our MIDI, MIDI box PC. So you can put ARM and x86 ports inside of here. This is basically the, the board mounts on top here. And then we have cables to the front panel. So it's a pretty standard box PC type of project. This right here is a rugged box called Sabre. Here we have a, a Core i7 single board computer inside of a rugged box, milk connectors. This is all IP67, rugged, mill standard 810, shock and vibration. Uh, this is perfect for vehicle applications, scalable with PC-104 expansion. This is the same thing, but a smaller size. Um, and then this is a product that we developed also about 20 years ago. This is called Pandora. And uh, this system is also PC-104 boards can go inside here, and then all the I.O. comes to the front panel. All right. So In fact, there's an Athena board inside this box right here, and these connectors are bringing out the I.O. from the Athena board as well as some additional <coughs> I.O. modules inside it. Inside so the box. so chip, chip makers like uh, Intel and uh, NVIDIA are very happy to partner with you to do all kinds of stuff? We're a pretty small customer compared to some of the larger vendors, but sure. <coughs> I mean, the, the, they're all here um, because they recognize the value of the embedded market. Actually, uh, NVIDIA is just down the street from us, so we have a very good relationship with them. We meet them all the time, and they help us with, uh, with connecting us with customers and building the ecosystem. Creating a new special, specialized product. 
Yes, they're very, very interested, of course, in, uh, in uh, becoming a dominant player in the GPU, embedded GPU market. And so they're working very hard to build an ecosystem of companies like us, camera makers, and so on, that software, software vendors who will um, provide kind of this whole infrastructure <laughs> ecosystem to help, help uh, penetrate the market to create uh, leadership for uh, NVIDIA. And um, uh, right over there, you are showing some other stuff here during oh, the show. What are so, you talking about here? So, no, this is a very interesting demo. Okay, so we wanted to show the capabilities of, of NVIDIA Jetson. What we have here is uh, our Stevie uh, carrier board. This is this is a real here a real Xavier module here. This is a real 30 tera ops, 30 watt uh, uh, Xavier module from NVIDIA, 512 cores. Okay, running Linux. And so this is our CV carrier, which is a very small, compact, low cost carrier for commercial applications. Um, what we have here is a program for style transfer. Okay, so what happens is you have you can take a picture of yourself. You can select a piece of artwork. And then in just a few seconds, it will combine, it will apply this as a style to your picture and give you the output. So here are some examples. Would you like to try? Yeah. Okay, so let us try. Can so, I wear my light hat? Okay, why don't you stand here, there you are, and take a look at the camera right here, smile. Okay, we'll take a picture. Three, two, one, there you go. Okay, excellent photograph, look at that. So, I like it. Now, you get to pick a piece of art. Oh, I would recommend probably I want that's this a good day. one. Okay, so now it's processing, and there you are. Oh, whoa, cool. And uh, and then we can uh, get your info here so that we can add you to our mailing list, and then we can print out a picture and give it to you. I'm definitely going to fill this out just after the <laughs> video. Yeah, and you can do it over and over again because we can try and change styles so you can do another one. So you can try like this one here, and it only takes a few seconds. There you go. All right. See, and the thing is that this would take 100 times as long on an x86 board. And this is just, uh, just a very a busy show. embedded world, right? This has been a great show for us, yeah. The fact that other people, other companies didn't show up means there was more traffic for us. So we ended up getting a lot of attention. Best embedded world ever for you? I think so, absolutely. All right. Yeah, and a lot of the stuff in the future, right? A lot you of know, things uh, are happening. You know, uh, uh, innovation and, uh, is now accelerating, really. I mean, things are, are really growing so fast, it's hard to keep up. So we're moving in many different directions. We're doing single-board computers, Ethernet switches, NVIDIA, I.O., rugged systems. So uh, it's just so many different directions to move in. It's like a kid in the candy store. There's so much great technology and so many great opportunities here.